guys welcome back to another vlog so oh god i think this is vlogmas day six and i actually said my last one was six and it should have been five i'm really sorry about that i'm honestly all over the place um but yeah this is my sixth vlog so i'm just getting ready for the day i have um quite a lot of content to shoot today um and just bits and bobs to do like that went out for a walk this morning with raffi which you guys will have seen um and yeah i just thought i would start vlogging today i also think i might head down to the trapper center later on um because there's a few bits that i want to get over there um i have done most of my christmas shopping online but there's just a few things that i want to go look at in person like for example i want to get sam a new dressing gown for christmas honestly don't worry he doesn't watch my vlogmas because otherwise all of his presents would be ruined um but i want to get that but um i want to feel it do you know what i mean like i feel like i can't tell how soft it is on the website so i want to feel it so yeah um and i just want to get some bits and bobs so thought i would do like a little get ready with me in this vlog so i have um starting off with charlotte's uh charlotte tilbury's magic serum i only just recently realized you have to put the serum on before your moisturizer so now i know that um <laughs> So yeah, I also thought I would come on and chat about like Christmas day and everything like that because I know there's been so many people who are like stressing about what to do on Christmas day and like had their Christmas plans obviously affected by the rules. So in the UK, um, you are allowed to have a bubble of three households for um, a couple of days over Christmas. I can't remember the exact dates now. Um, so yeah which is obviously difficult if you come from a big family or like a lot of your family all live separately and stuff so we normally host christmas day um i'm just using the magic cream now we normally host christmas day and we will normally have like i don't know like 14 people around um sort of over the whole christmas period and we've done that ever since i've sort of been with sam um because sam sam sometimes has to work on christmas day um so everyone kind of comes to us because of that um so yeah we normally host so it's gonna be really weird this year to have such a quiet christmas um i do think we are gonna see um my family up at christmas and then hopefully we will be able to see sam's family at another point um but yeah we're not really sure to be honest at the moment um it's really hard so yeah just a few guys are finding it tough as well thought i would sort of chat about it really Okay, so, so for my face, I'm honestly, this looks like it's a sponsored Charlotte Tilbury thing, but it's not. I just love her products so, so much. I'm gonna use um, the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I have this in the shade four. Um, so I'm just gonna, I always use this as a base when I use this foundation, just because this foundation is quite matte. And although I love the coverage of it and how it sits on my skin, I, um, like a bit more of a dewy foundation so this just makes it like a little bit kind of dewier so and then i just use an it cosmetics brush and just kind of brush that in so yeah i'm sorry my vlogmas have been quite short like it's really weird i feel like i filmed loads and i come to edit it and i'm like oh my god it's like eight minutes long so sorry about that but oh <coughs> sorry about that um but I guess there's so much content to watch this time of year so it's probably a bit better that they're a bit shorter um because otherwise it's like it's just a bit much to try and keep up with it all isn't it <laughs> this dressing gown i got from um the hotel that we stayed at when we got engaged um so i would like it when i wear it um so yeah i'm using the charlotte tilbury airbrush Flawless foundation in the shade Five Cool. This is probably a little bit too dark for me at the moment. Um, probably <clears throat> better in the summer, really, but there we go. We're going with it anyway. It's what I always wear when I film because it is quite sort of heavier coverage and I just think it looks nicer with like the lights and the camera and stuff. Okay, so next up, I'm going to use the um, Becca Under Eye Brightening Concealer. There we go. Yeah. Um, sorry under eye brightening corrector this stuff is the best ever if you suffer with darkness under your eyes it just like counteracts it so well i honestly this would definitely be in like my top maybe my top five makeup products and then i'm just gonna pop 
some of the um, It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer on. This stuff is the best for like a really heavy coverage. I normally put it on my hand, not straight onto my eyes. I don't really know why I just did that. <laughs> but yeah, this stuff's the best for a good heavy coverage concealer. Um, it, I have it in the shade 20 Medium N. Because um, there's loads of shades of this. So it can be hard to like find your right shade. Okay, and then next up I'm going to use Benefits Hoola. I mean, I'm sure everybody knows Hoola. I feel like I've been using it. I actually think I've been using it since I was like 14. Um, maybe even younger. Pretty much from when I first started wearing makeup. And then I'm going to use the Glossier Cloud Paint, which is so nice for a blush. I actually didn't used to wear blush until... Probably like last year, sort of something kind of recent, but I feel like it really does make you look so much more awake. I feel like I just put way too much on there. <laughs> okay, and then for, I'm gonna pop a little bit of this NARS um, Orgasm Lip Tint on. I'll just do this before I put Lipstick on, lip, bleh, lipstick on just to moisturize my lips a little bit. Okay, and then for my eyebrows, I'm gonna use this baby. This is the Collection 2000 Clear Mascara. So it's like 2.99. Um, thinking about going to get my eyebrows laminated again, because I really like the look of lamination, but I have heard it's not very good for your brows. So that's the difference between my eyebrows with and without it. Um, so it does kind of help them stand up, but I don't know, it doesn't kind of last all day to kind of keep applying it. And then for mascara, I'm going to use the Ico uh, Black Magic Mascara. Okay, and then lips, I'm going to use, of course, if you guys know me, the Charlotte Tilbury um, Lip Cheat Pillow Talk, and then also the um, lipstick. Oh, okay, I need to come really close for this. And then, of course, the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk lipstick. And then a little bit of gloss as well. This is, again, the Pillow Talk. Um, I think this is the, like, collagen lip plumping lip gloss. Uh, but Pillow Talk is just such a good shade. It, I just think it suits so many skin tones. Um, and it's just a really good shade, like, if you don't really know where to start. It's kind of just like a... Kind of like a like a darker kind of pinkier kind of nude color so yeah anyway right that is my makeup done and now i'm gonna do my hair i think i'm gonna curl it i'm actually booked in to get my hair done um at the end of this week which i'm really excited about because my roots could definitely need doing could definitely do definitely need doing um but yeah i'm gonna curl my hair quick and then i'll come and chat to you after okay so i am ready to film i've just closed the shutters in the background because the light was like glaring in um, but I have this jumper on which I got from Amazon um, and then this is always how I film okay these are like not exactly attractive pajama bottoms but I've got pajama bottoms on and then my slippers because you obviously don't see that part so yeah I can be like comfy and chill I've just curled my hair and yeah I'm good to go first piece of content shot for the day and now I'm about to shoot the next one I just need to get changed um, shoot the next one and then I need to edit them both, send them over to the brands, um, and then I'm gonna have some lunch, and then I think we're gonna go to the traffic centre. So, quite productive day so far. Hey guys, sorry I've neglected you a little bit. I've just been um, editing and everything. This is why, like, I feel like I don't get very much content for Vlogmas because it's quite a busy, like, work time, so I do spend a lot of time just filming and editing, which obviously I can't really show you, so, um, yeah, it's got so dark so quick. It's like 3 p.m. and it's like pitch black outside. Um, well, I'm being a bit dramatic, but um, but I am probably gonna do a little bit more work. Rafi's come to show you his carrot. Come on then, up, up. <laughs> Look, you're gonna show them your carrot. <laughs> Thank you, Rafi. That's exactly what I wanted in my face right now. Um, oh. <laughs> He is such an attention seeker. Look, he's got to be star of the show every time. Um, I'm probably going to work until about five-ish and then probably head to the Travis Centre at about six. Oh, my makeup's running. Um, and yeah, I'm really excited to go out to the shops actually. 
so like it's gonna feel really Christmassy. I hope it's not too busy. Um, probably will be with everyone doing their Christmas shopping, but <laughs> um, okay, yeah. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> oh my god. Um, but yeah, nothing else to really update you on. Um, I don't think that's about it. <laughs> okay, so I have an S bar advent calendar, which I'm very excited about. And um, let's see, what's the date today? Are we on the 7th today? Or is it the 8th? Or is it the 9th? It could actually be the 9th. Um, oh, S bar 24 hour replenishing moisturizer. I love this stuff. It's so, so good. Wrap it your nose away. It's so good and this is perfect just keeping your bag. It's such a good size. Oh my God, that's so cute. I love mini stuff. Why is mini stuff just so cute? <laughs> Okay, Rafi, away. Oh my god, love it. Okay, so that was number five. Number six is... Oh, pink hair and scalp mud mask. I actually use this all the time. I have the full size of it um, upstairs. This is so, so good, especially if you get a dry scalp. Um, they put it on me once when I had a, a spa massage somewhere. And they did like a scalp massage with this. And um, yeah, I loved it. I might give this one to my mum actually because I do have the full size one upstairs. Um, put that in there. And then number seven. Oh, an oil. Positivity bath and body oils. Oh my god, their oils are always so nice. They smell so good. Oh, that one's like like a little bit quite like spary, but a bit of citrusy as well, actually. I probably oh yeah, sweet orange. I knew I could smell citrus. Mmm, that's so nice. Oh yeah, love to have a nice bath with that. Okay, and now number eight. I'm gonna take them all back out. Oh, that's the door. Rudely interrupted. Hey. That was just my uh, new lamp that I got from Zara Home, so I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, where were we before? I was rudely interrupted. Number eight. Skin Rescue Balm, Nourishing Balm to Soothe and Hydrate. Oh wow, okay, I didn't, I've never seen them do this before. You can put it on dry skin and lips. This on the spot balm can also be used to help nourish nails and cuticle shape brows or soothe with hydrating oils after sun exposure. Another good one to just have like in your little travel kit. I'm gonna pop some of that on now. I love a good lip balm. Hmm, how lovely. It's like this S-Bar one is so good. Out of like all the advent calendars I've had before, this S-Bar one is definitely a good one because all the little minis are just perfect for like traveling and stuff like that. So, right, so that's me advent calendar. Now, let's open up my lamp. I ordered this the other day because I felt like the lounge that we sit in, it has like a main light and then it doesn't have any lamps. And so, I wanted to get a lamp for it, but only like a small one just to fit on the shelves. And I saw this one from Zara Home. So it looks like that. Hang on. I think I'm going to need to go get a bulb for it though, because I need like one of those filament bulbs for it. Let's have a look. I definitely just get some scissors. I literally have some scissors right here. Why am I not using them? Raph's been out in the rain today, as you can tell, he's gone all curly. I don't, this came so quick. I literally ordered this like a couple of days ago. That. It kind of looks like a snow globe. <laughs> and then I think you put like a little filament bulb on the inside, like you know those ones where you can kind of see see the filaments. Um, oh, that's so cute. Maybe I have one of those bulbs actually. Let's go and have a look. Okay, so annoyingly I haven't got a bulb that fits it, um, so I'm gonna have to get one, but 
I was kind of planning on putting it um, on these shelves, perhaps like here where this is and just move that around a little bit, just so that we have like a nice little lamp, just to make it nice and cozy. I feel like this is gonna reflect the light really nicely as well. So I will show you in another Vlogmas when I finally get a bulb for it. Okay, so when that order came, I also had another order come. Um, and this is from Truva, which I've spoken about quite a lot before on my channel. Um, but basically it's a website that stocks all um, like small independent businesses and basically the stores just send them out from your orders from the site. So this is from a company in Birmingham. And basically, Rafi, out of the way, out of the way. Basically, I wanted to get some mistletoe to hang from um, the doorway. Hey, hey, hey. But I obviously didn't want it to be real because I was worried about him, like if the berries fell off or anything. So I found this on Truva. So this is literally exactly what I wanted. So it's just fake mistletoe and it just has a little hanging string there. So I can hang it above the door. Do you wanna have a kiss? Do you have a kiss? <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, thanks. <laughs> and then I also ordered from Truva some little espresso cups. Um, Again, for Sam for Christmas. Um, I'm giving away all of his Christmas presents on here, but um, yeah, he loves espresso. And I got him a coffee machine for his birthday, which he absolutely loves and uses like twice a day. So I thought I would also pick him up some cute little cups and they have such nice ones on Truva. Oh my God, this is packaged so well that I literally can't get into it. Matthew's like patiently waiting. Oh my god, these are so cute. Look at that. It's the cutest little thing ever. Having like a little... I don't know why I just ripped it off actually, because I could have wrapped it in that. Whoops. Just trying to pop it back in there. So yeah, I just got him a couple of them because I thought they were cute. And that's the unboxing for the day. So I am... Oh, sorry, I just poked you in the nose. So I am going to... Um, do some more work now and um, then I will catch up with you when we go to shops yeah <laughs> I also just received this in the post which is another Christmas present getting so many Christmas presents through um, but basically this is it was recommended by Lust Living on Instagram and basically it's like a kind of photo album slash coffee table book. Um, but the inside, it's basically designed so that you can put like your children's artwork in there. It's really like quite a cool idea. And obviously I'm sure kids come home with so much art and you don't know what to do with it and you don't want it like all over your house. So um, that's the inside of it there. Sorry, the light's reflecting, hang on. There we go, that's the inside there. So you can put their art and then it has like a little, um, kind of section where it says quote from the artist and you can pop a little like quote from your child or whatever just quite a nice one to look back on it's also just nice to actually display this that you could actually have it out and about um like on your coffee table or on a shelf or something so yeah i picked that up for sam's sister because i thought it was just a really nice gift um so i will link that down below but it's by Printworks, which do such amazing um like albums and stuff so yeah they're definitely a good one to check out for stuff like this was the night before Christmas I was closing down for business In my little prison shop When the bell on the door Jingled once more And then time almost came to a stop but somehow I knew, and maybe so did you, that everything would change from now on. Yes, from this Christmas song, from this Christmas song.
just thought I would show you my outfit quick. So my face mask is Plumo. Um, my jumper is Anine Bing. And then my coat is Zara. I've been loving this coat actually, considering I said I didn't know if I was gonna keep it. And then my leggings are Zara and then I have black Converse on and then I have my Adenola tote bag. So yeah, that's it. guys so it is quite a bit later now i think it's like 10 o'clock or something um and i've just come up to get ready for bed and everything um so i went into town to go to the traffic center um and it was very busy um and just for some reason it was so hot in there um so yeah i was just got like really hot and flustered and stuff so i didn't actually end up getting really anything i got a few little presents but um nothing really too much and it was like quite hard to get my camera out because i had like bags and the mask and everything like that so yeah i didn't really film that much sorry so now i'm just about to get into bed um i'm gonna take my makeup off and everything like that get into my pajamas and get into bed i'm blimmin exhausted today i don't know why i had like quite a busy day with work I had quite a lot on so yeah i'm quite tired um tomorrow i've got um i've got quite a few bits on but like annoyingly stuff that i can't really show um so i don't know if i'm gonna vlog tomorrow or not we'll see um but yeah we'll see how we get on anyway right let's um get ready for bed together okay so we're in my dressing gown this dressing gown is from tesco and i honestly get so many questions about it it's like the coziest snuggliest dressing gown tesco do the best dressing gowns um it's got makeup on it excuse that it needs to go in the wash so i'm trying to think where i'm going to put you because you're not really quite high enough but my tripod doesn't go any higher so this is the cleanser that i've been using at the moment it's the elemis uh pro collagen cleansing balm i absolutely love the smell of this stuff it's so so nice so i am going to take my makeup off with that and then do the rest of my skincare routine. I'm not gonna do like a real long one today because I'm just so tired. So, yeah. Sorry, the uh, camera battery died there, but I um, just used the Pixie Glow Tonic. I don't think that's focusing. There we go, the Pixie Glow Tonic, um, just to do it as a toner. And then I'm gonna use, do you know what? I'm gonna use some of my Espar serum. Um, yeah, let's use that and then uh, let's use the Espar moisturizer. I do normally use the, um, the Charlotte Tilbury night cream, but let's switch it up a little bit. So, I just take a couple drops of this stuff. I love this stuff, as you can see. Like, I've used quite a lot, and you barely need any. This has lasted me so long. Just a few drops. My hand. Oh, it smells so good, and it's so like nourishing. I love it. And then the Espa. Um, Optimal skin moisturizer. And then that is my kind of quick skincare routine done for the night. So then I'm gonna go and do like my nighttime routine. So I need to brush my teeth um, and everything like that. So get my pajamas on, all of that fun stuff. Um, I'll chat to you in a bit. So I am all cosy in my pajamas. These are the white company ones and they're just the best. They're so, 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 so comfortable. <laughs> I love them. So now I'm going to do my little like nighttimey bits. So these are my little nighttime bits. Sorry about the light. It's coming like weird off this light here. Um, but I always take my vitamins. So these are vitamin D3 and vitamin C. Um, so yeah, I've already taken them. 
And then I always do some cuticle oil on my nails just to prolong my um, gel nails and also just keep them nice and healthy. I do um, my rapid brow, which is a like brow kind of growing treatment. I just apply that every single night. Um, and then I do a little bit of face rolling when I remember. I don't do this every night to be honest, but yeah, I just like to do this because um, I get quite a lot of like tension around my jaw and stuff. So it just helps like break that down. And then a little bit of lip balm. So now I'm just gonna jump into bed and I'm gonna give Sam a call um, because he's not here tonight. So I'm gonna give him a quick call before I go to bed and probably go to sleep. I was gonna say I might try and read, but I probably won't. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next Vlogmas. I really hope you enjoyed this one and yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hi. Hello, little one. <laughs> you all right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, good, thanks.